the mRNA platform for infectious diseases and Latin diseases, Latin viruses was sort of like combined. So a lot of people gave credit to Moderna platform, you know, for infectious diseases and sort of like rolled up Latin viruses like in mm -hmm. there. I think if cytomegalovirus is successful in phase three, then people will have to take a step back and be like, oh, wow, maybe we need to give them like, you know, Latin virus is a different part of the platform. We need to give them, you know, the, the value to their platform for that also, right? Both through uh, future sales and earnings projections and through the multiple like expanding, right? So let's wait and see. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Um, but oncology was always viewed as like the next step, you know, other than rare diseases for mRNA and for Moderna going from infectious diseases, Latin viruses just can, kind of considered like, you know, part of like infectious disease viruses. And, and so oncology was kind of like where, and that's where a lot of the focus has been. So if you actually look at media and, and you look at what's been written about, almost nobody writes about Latin viruses except when they do R&D day, when they do a vaccine day, then somebody in the media will write about it.